Alright guys, gonna do it's slide 13 here, Naked Forex tutorial for you guys. This is a free PowerPoint presentation, if anybody wants it, just let me know, Telegram message me or email me, I will send it out to you guys. Happy Monday. So this next video is Naked Forex on Scalping. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I was like, I was trying to find it. Okay, so, let's hop into here. You can still use the one hour in scalp. So, what professional traders uh, look at scalping Forex is like anything less than uh, 24 hours of trading. They call it, they call it um, scalping. It's kind of weird, but that's how they look at it for scalping. But for us as retail traders, we actually look scalping as based on right one minute, five minute, and and uh, even the fifteen minute chart. So I'm gonna hop down to the one minute and explain how you could scalp off the one minute. Now I know this is kind of it's gonna be fast paced, but let's hop into here. Let's see here. So I would zoom out first. Just to get a clear view where USDJPY is going. So you guys are probably wondering what USDJPY is. It is the US dollar to the Japanese yen. So me, I call it UJ for short, like a nickname. So I zoom out first just to get a clear view where, where this appears in. And by looking at it, you can see that it's coming up trying to retest this point here, which is the price of 110.5. Now, what's going to be tricky is can you justify on buying it right now because we would look at what's happening within the past, let's see, within the past almost, this is 30 minutes. So in the past 30 minutes, not a whole lot's going on here. Now, obviously, we're still, um, what I'm talking about right now is that we're in Tokyo sessions. So I'm doing this video during Tokyo sessions, but then it's in the first hour of Tokyo. So you could still scalp, which I do recommend scalping within the first hour of each session anyways, because because it's like it's pretty fast paced and also the markets are shifting over and changing over to a new session. So if you were to buy this, you have to justify what you're gonna buy, buy and close the position at, right? And when I like I said when I when I zoom back out, I would buy and hold for one ten four five and one ten five. And if it breaks this, obviously I'm not going to be looking at the one minute anymore. You know, I would be going straight to the fifteen minute just to see how far this thing is going up. So you can see it's actually shooting up pretty good right now. And you have to understand that if you're going to hop, like let's just say this. If you're going to hop from the one minute to the five minute and then, and then goes to the 15 minute, there, you got, uh, you're got basically in three different time frames. If I see it moving up this fast um, on the one minute, I'll see with the uh, 15 minute, then I'm looking to see, okay, when I'm scalping, I'm also uh, trying to identify a trend to where I can stack and swing. If, unless you really want to keep scalping day in and day out, that's so yummy. Okay, it depends on how much you can really focus on the screen, on buying a position and then closing it out and then selling the position again, closing that out, and then you're rebuying and then reselling, rebuying, reselling, rebuying, reselling. So you're basically consecutively making all these uh, execution orders, right, manually. You're not doing no buy limits, you're not doing no sell limits. Right, you're not doing out any of those limit orders, okay? What you're doing is you're executing orders on the spot and then closing them on the spot. Closing them when you make profit or at a loss, okay? So that's how you're gonna learn for a fast paced scalping here. Now, I'm gonna hop back to the one hour. And based on the one hour, it looks like it wants to retest what I was talking about, right? Here, one, ten, four, five. Break set. There's no other resistance, which would be 110.7 and 110.8. So the so I like looking at higher time frames first, and then working my way down. 
if I'm going to start sculpting. So that I have a clear path of what this pair is going to be doing at this session and what happened last session, right? Always backtrack what happened, you know, what happened like eight hours ago. Because every session is eight to nine hours, usually eight hours, okay? With that, you can backtrack the history of the, you know, and highlight price points of the highs and lows, and then be like, okay, UCJPY is trying to come back to retest at 110.45 here, breaks that, we have no other resistance until it comes back to retest here at the 110.75 and the 110.8. And then I'll go back down 15 minute chart and be like, okay, what exactly is this pair trying to do? Well, it actually wants to come back and retest 110.45, right? Very crucial here on the 15 minute here and here. So now you got two points of contact of resistance of price was um, um, being, um, um, uh, I want to say, objected. So where price got rejected and boom, and then went back down, right? Went down first, came back, retest, didn't break it, went down even further. Now let's try and come back to retest this again. This would be the third time. So we'll find out if it's going to break this, you know, within the next hour or so. So that is a quick look at naked fork scalping. And if you like using the five minute chart, it's the five minute time frame. You just have to understand that it's every five minutes per candle getting switched out. And if you like the one minute, it's fine on you. Me personally, I don't use the one minute anymore. If anything, I would probably go into the five minute chart and look at US 30 because with US 30, if you were to trade micro lots on US 30 and compare to gold, US 30 on a micro lot pays 10 times more than gold. Hands down. So you can't go wrong scalping US 30 on a five minute chart. You can make a lot of money off this pair versus, you know, or, or you can want to scalp gold that's on you. But gold isn't as fast of a movement in volatility versus US 30. So that's why I like scalping US 30. When I see when you see a major move for US 30, it's a lot of money. Even doing a if you did a a mini lot and compare a mini lot um, payout ver, uh, to a to a gold payout and, and a mini lot, let's just say 0.10. I'm telling you right now, this thing pays ten times more than gold. It's just crazy how how fast paced this this um this uh on uh, this indice is and it's part of the uh, indices. So if that's what you like to trade, I would recommend looking at this because it's a fast pace. Um, me personally, I like scalping US 30 versus scalping gold. And if you want to scalp gold, you just have to understand that usually during Tokyo sessions, gold doesn't really do a whole lot of movement. And that's why um, I, don't like talk, I don't like talking too much about Tokyo sessions because it is the slowest session. Right? There's not a lot going on during Tokyo. So, but I'm making these videos during Tokyo. This is my time. This is my free time. So, other than that, um, just a quick video touch base for you guys here. And like I said, you you make more money using a 15 minute chart because it's a it's a bit higher time frame than the five minute and one minute. And you can identify your price, right? Your price gap, highs and lows. And also, if there's a trend to spot, if you spot the trend, I would stack and and, and swing it. But if you're gonna swing it. Like I said, you're going to stack and swing, make sure you go straight to one hour into the four hour. So you, get, I, you, can say you get a viewpoint where you're going to go. So my next video will be based on that, on stacking and swinging, and why swing will, and, and how to swing long term on, based on naked forks. So that's it, guys. Stay tuned. All right, there you guys have it for slide 13. Uh, I will be running slide 14, which is this one for tomorrow, which is stacking on trends and swinging long-term trades for tomorrow. And then the next day would be spine reversals, uh, highs and lows, weekly charts and monthly charts. And then the next day, fundamentals, new trading, why it's important to read up on news, especially for trading on the fundamental side on Forex. And then the bonus video would be cryptocurrency trading. All right, guys.